doing a uh, tutorial on how to grow your YouTube channel um, by using clickbaity as such is what I like to say. Um, YouTube thumbnails, so uh, they they will help uh, get you some views, which means more money. So uh, let's jump right into the video. So uh, the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to uh, canva.com so what is this one right here so uh, once you've gotten onto canva you might have to sign up or whatnot so sign up join it and then once you're in uh, click the create a design part at um, the left hand corner and then uh, you'll come to this page right here so uh, for a, a YouTube thumbnail um, it's in right here the first one, so we just want to click on it, which is, or you can go use custom dimensions, but that's just impractical. So we uh, click it, wait for it to load, of course, and then once everything's loaded, here we go. You can start the uh, thumbnail. So uh, what you can do is you can use one of these cool ass templates, but um. I always look through them, but I never seem to find any good ones, so, uh, until they've updated them to be a bit more, uh, clickbait, is what I like to call, um, I'm gonna stick to using my own, but, um, so yeah, so the video that I want to, um, make, or make a thumbnail for, is, um, it's, it'll be whatever one that you, do you want, so, um, I'm gonna choose... Um, how to get verified on Instagram. That is one of my previous videos, so click on it and you'll get verified. So uh, what we'll start off with is, I might just choose a background. You can just choose a color. So I'll start off with probably this color. No, let's, yeah. Let's stick with the blue. And then, so we gotta wanna drag some sort of title on. Watch these. My favorite font is Railway. It's down the bottom somewhere. So you click it and uh, Railway Bold. And so we just choose a nice little title. And... Okay, so well, I think that's a bit overboard. So uh, there. That's, that seems pretty good. So uh, pretty much. Canva is like the um, the software that you may want to use, and then um, you pretty much just let your design go from there. So uh, you can use photos. So let me see if they got it. The Instagram logo. Yep. Yes, they do, boys. And yep. So we have that. So we can do that. Or we might change the background. Actually, I think I do have a, a color that uh, might be a bit good. So you can download in you know, photos off the internet and then they'll go into the uploads page. So uh, I think I found a good background that I might want to use. So uh, take a look at this. So this is a pause. Here we are. So we got this one here. I find it to be pretty nifty if I say so myself. So we'll just bring it down a smidge and a half. There we go. So we could do something like that. And uh, actually, uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Actually, yeah, we'll put some more stuff in it. So you can pretty much just do whatever you like, but uh, make sure it's clickbait. And uh, be sure to include a few of um, a few of these. So uh, just do that. Maybe something else like a Sunday or some palm tree leaves or a fire extinguisher. Or if you're feeling good, you can add some sort of computer in. It'll really bring up the uh, the technological side of it. But if there's one thing I must say you should in you should put in is um, maybe uh that maybe not and um, um, I don't know but you just gotta 
play around with it. So I'm just going to get rid of all this because that was unnecessary and I apologize. So, um, yeah. Okay, so um, I think that that's pretty good now. So uh, you just want to give it a title, call it Thummy, whatnot. Click File, Save. Then you go Download. Then you probably want to download it PNG. And then you click Download. And now you were done.